Moving effortlessly through a sea of top military brass is Canadian General Ray Hinault. You might say he's NATO's quarterback. It's his job to bring together the top soldiers from the alliance's 26 nations and partners and hammer out a common military strategy for Afghanistan. This week's session in Brussels was the last time General Hinault swung the gavel before retiring. He's accomplished a lot. Under his three-year watch, the number of NATO troops in Afghanistan has increased tenfold, from five to almost 50,000. We've seen tremendous changes, and we've seen uh, uh, Afghanistan really fuel uh, the uh, transformation of the alliance as well. Afghanistan has challenged NATO more than any other mission, pushing it to adapt forces and a command structure designed for the Cold War to fight a more elusive enemy, the Taliban. New figures show attacks in eastern Afghanistan last month were up significantly by 50 percent. NATO is putting the blame on Pakistan for striking deals with insurgents. Allowing them, the extremists, to have safe havens, rest, reconstitute, and then move across the border. Then there is the unwillingness of certain NATO countries to step up to the plate to quell the insurgency in Afghanistan's toughest regions. Canada, the U.S., Holland and Britain are doing much of the heavy fighting in the south. Has there been a level of frustration over the last three years? Well, the commanders on the ground are, are always calling for more troops. I should say, though, that even though there is uh, perhaps an expressed uh, level of frustration, that the nations have answered the calls for, for additional troops. But even with more troops and more equipment, NATO officials again say the mission to secure Afghanistan could drag on for years, with intense development projects lasting even longer. Well, uh, there's a lot at stake for the alliance. I hope that our military presence at a certain stage can be taken over by the Afghan National Army. It's uh, almost impossible to fix an end date for a mission like Afghanistan as it is for even Kosovo at the moment. You have to fix an end state. This was also Canada's Chief of Defence General Rick Hillier's last high-level NATO meeting. With the country's two top soldiers set to retire by the summer, this marks the end of an era in which both Canada's military and NATO saw big changes and big challenges. Stuart Greer, Global News, Brussels.